Rory KI is, has recently launched and right now is one of the best AI platforms to create mobile apps. So that's why today I'm gonna show you a small walkthrough on how I created a mobile app and how you can create your own so that you can use it for different use cases. So without further ado, let's go into it. So here I am in Rourke AI, the Vive coding app that in this case we are gonna use to create mobile apps. So just to note down, I just created an account inside Rourke. You have to know guys that it has a daily usage of five messages with a monthly limit of 35 messages. So you can only use actually seven days of it, seven full days of it. The upgrade plan is a bit expensive, so I wouldn't recommend it. And let's be honest, we're just gonna be playing with it to see a demonstration of how it works. But it's true that we can build really good and professional apps without having to hire a big developer. So that's the big advantages for this type of agencies or companies. So that's what we're gonna do, basically, just to explain you a bit how it works. What we are gonna be able to do is just a similar thing as we did with Firebase Studio, Lovable or Board. It's gonna be really easy. We just describe here the mobile app that is that we want and it's gonna start building something. That's all, guys. So, work also is the best in this part because it specializes especially in mobile apps. Not as the other ones that specialize in web apps like Lovable or Firebase Studio, no, 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 no. So, want to know that right now Roar KI isn't working at all in Samsung and Android mobile phones. It's working only in Apple ones. So you have to know that down for because for example, I have an Android one. So for it, we're gonna use Roar to create this example of app, a dumb example, but so that you can see how it works and create tons of examples that you can use for several use cases. So, create me an app that lets you select from a list of more than 100 countries a country to get the 5 most important news of today. That info will be generated with perplexity. I can provide you my API key if you want, so that you can use the model to search the news. I'm gonna click, there you go, and it's gonna do exactly the same as Lovable, Bold, and Firebase Studio did. It's gonna start creating all the code, and as you can see, it's gonna appear right here how it would be in a mobile phone so as you can see in iphone is as easy as this you just have to open a camera app and scan the qr code that's all on iphone you don't have to do anything more just that okay there you go it has finished editing everything we can now see that there's a big bunch of countries here to search for so that's a great thing let's say so once we got get inside, we see that there's actually an error, which is making that it doesn't work. So I'm gonna put here, okay, but when I click inside a country, it isn't working. Also, there is no place to insert my perplexity API key. Let's say like that. So that we actually have to put inside the mobile app of my perplexity API key in order to make it work. So let's see how it works. Okay, so we actually see here that it has actually been successful. Right now we can get inside and it's fetching that is new latest news, but it's not gonna give us any news because it doesn't have anything to do with it. So we're gonna go now to perplexity to get my API key. And it actually gives us here a link to get the API key, this doesn't work as we can see, that's not actually really good. So I'm just gonna recharge it and I'm gonna say that. First of all, I'm gonna go to Perplexity AI. Okay, once here to get our API key, what we have to do is go to our account, then to our account again. And once here, we have to go to API keys and we are gonna have one created. So, or you can create another one. So I'm just gonna click here to copy it. I'm gonna bring it here and I'm gonna paste it here. So once pasted, there you go. I'm gonna save the API key. Let's see if in this case, if I click for example on my country, on Spain, it's gonna give us the latest news. Let's wait a bit. And if not, we're just gonna say, say it to the API. There you go. Okay. So this is actually really good. Here we have the biggest five actually. Does it give us the possibility of get, read more? Mm. 
Okay. I mean, at least we have here the five, top five new stories. So what I'm gonna do right now actually is tell him that the get API key link is actually wrong to get an API key they should go to this link and I'm gonna give it the link that we were using HTTPS perplexity.ai account API keys okay that's perfect and I'm also gonna tell him that uh, please try to give a bigger description of the news once the button read more is click there you go okay guys so let's see what we have here let's see if right now if we click on get api key it's gonna go to www.perplexity.ai so we are actually that's actually fixed and later let's see for example the recent news of france let's say let's click here let's see the latest news there you go perfect once we click on read more we are able to actually see way more of the information of the news and a small explanation of it so yeah that's basically a small there's a small app that we were able to create I imagine that it's using live perplexity to get that news. Again, if you want to use this code inside your mobile phone, in this case, my this app it won't be working because I'm gonna take out right now my API key from perplexity. But you guys can actually click come here when you create your work AI uh, application. If you have an iPhone, just come here, take the uh, QR code and use it from your iPhone to test it, the one that you have actually created. And as I said, be playing back and forth, back and forth to see it and to obtain what you want as an app. Yeah, guys, that's a small use case on how to use Rock AI, remember to use it wisely and to be have fun actually creating. Oh, guys, this has been all for the video. I hope you've enjoyed and you've learned how to create mobile apps inside Rock AI so that you can use them for different use cases. And yeah, again, thanks for watching the videos. If you have any doubt, leave it in the description and see you in the next one.